hey, morning, I found something interesting. You gotta watch it. Oh, what's it? A cow was frozen to death in Guangdong. Do you believe this? What is the truth behind a cow was freezing to death in Guangdong province? Hello, good afternoon. I'm Colleen. Welcome to my channel. I'm sure that you have noticed a news about a cow was freezing to death in Guangdong province, whose temperature remained above 80 degrees Fahrenheit for almost a year. I know it sounds so weird, so in order to reconstruct the news for you, I have been to Maoming Guangdong, where the story happened, to investigate the truth for you. If you want to see more exclusive and follow-up reports, please subscribe our channel and click the like button. Today at 8.30, I will tell the truth of the story. See you then! Bye! Well, this self-media video is always like this, you know, use some eye-catching content to attract people's attention and clicks. But don't you think it's funny? Yeah, but we don't know the truth. And the TikTok star says she will go to Maoming to investigate it. But I think she just hooks audience and wants some subscriptions. Actually, it may end up with nothing. Hmm, maybe you are right. The self-media is... Always wow, well, entertainment and gossip things. Now that you mention it, I think she just use an exaggeration to get people's peeps. Yes, that's true. Oh, there's a coffee shop over there. Do you want to take a rest? I'm a little bit tired now. Okay, let's go. Recently, a heartbreaking tragedy happened in Guangdong. A cow was frozen to death while the sudden cooling weather. According to the footage provided by local, the cow lay down on the freezing ground without any movement. A little calf was surrounding its dead mother in tremendous sadness and wouldn't leave despite the villagers were trying to get rid of it. Facing such a tragedy, we have to call on more protection on animal labor because this is a tragedy that shouldn't happen in 2022. As we all know, Guangdong is a place that's well known for eating everything. We can definitely say that the villagers were not sad for the cow's death, but be happy to have some beef to eat. How brutal is that? We think the Guangdong government should focus more on animal protection, especially the animal labor right. To protect the animal labor is to protect our human labor. Everyone can be that cow who had been working for entire life but was frozen to death in a cold night. This tragedy reminded us to say no to any oppression and exploitation in workplace. Tell your night, labors. Eating everything, is that real in Guangdong? I think it's a total misunderstanding for us. We are not bees after all. Well, I still think this news is so crucial for lives. It's hard for me to accept it. I can't agree more. Animal lives still matter. How dare them? Now I'm going to call the Guangdong government to do something. Oh, 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 wait, wait, calm down. Let's switch another channel. On February 21 in Maoming, Guangdong, a netizen posted a video of a cow dying of cold on an online platform. The video shows a cow falling to the ground and a calf walking back and forth beside it. Recently, the southern cloudy weather continues, with heavy rain in Guangdong. Due to the combined effect of rainy weather and cold air, the temperature will continue to be low. Please pay attention to the residents to prevent cold and keep warm. Oh, I see. It's just the cold weather in Guangdong. Yes, last video is a total exaggeration for news. People's judgment will be influenced under that situation. Maybe it's normal to see that in the countryside, but who knows? I can't believe they are talking about the same event. From this event, the only thing important for us is that Guangdong weather is changeable and we need to pay attention to that. Yes, you are right. Oh, it's time for us to suggest it. Let's go. Hey, Molly. Oh, hi, Johnny. Uh, 
Hi, so you still remember our discussion in the coffee shop? Yes, definitely. Well, it's amazing that their styles are totally different. Yeah, they report from different angles and provide different information to viewers. You're right, the official channel is more normal. They talk about the cold weather. Yes, and the self-media just uh, use it as a hook to attract more people. In fact, there's not much information in this video. Yeah, the most ridiculous one is the clickbait video. They even talk about animal rights and even labor rights. I really did not expect that. That's true. So it's difficult for us to know the truth from particular media. And maybe we need to improve our ju judgment on information so that we cannot be uh, misled by the certain media channels. Yeah, you see Leon just posted that exaggerated video on which moment. We had to remind him our reflections so that he didn't mislead more people. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go.